on the 1st of February 2003, Colombia began its descent back to Earth. As the shuttle raced over the Pacific towards the US, the crew put on their suits, preparing themselves for a routine landing. It was now 8.40 a.m., and these are pictures of their last moments alive. Columbia's a, a beautiful ship. She's performing magnificently. At 8.44 a.m., Columbia re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> Still, everything appeared normal. There might be uh, some plasma now. By GNC. Everything looked good to you. Control and rates and everything is nominal, right? Control's been stable. We have good trims. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. It's noisy up here, but... Then, just 22 minutes before touchdown, at 8.54 in the morning, there was an unusual reading from one of the shuttle's many sensors. Hi, Beck. Go ahead. FYI, I've just lost four separate temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle. The hydraulic return temperatures. Four high return temps? To the left outboard and left inboard Elvon. And Columbia, Houston, we see your tire pressure okay. messages, and we did not copy your last. Is it instrumentation, Max? Uh, Max, yeah. also off. Yeah. Columbia, Houston, com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF, com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF, com check. Columbia Houston UHF com check. Columbia Houston UHF com check. At 9.16, the truth dawned on mission control. The space shuttle had been lost. GC flight. GC flight. Why GC? Lock the doors. Copy. Oh 38 miles above ground, the space shuttle had exploded. All seven on board were killed.